Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. As always, my name is Vince, and on today's episode, what we're talking about is how to take your GoXLR and connect it in between a two PC setup, so that way the sounds coming from your main computer or the gaming PC will be sent over to your streaming PC, and then also so that you can actually hear any alerts or sounds coming from your streaming PC back on your headphones, and potentially you could send it through the gaming PC as well. So there's only a couple of things you're going to need to do this. The first thing, of course, is going to be two um, aux cables because you will be running an in and an out. And also the last thing, as I mentioned on my other video about this as well, is you will need a ground loop isolator. This one I picked up off Amazon. I think it cost about $10. I'll leave a link below in the description, um, but any of those should work. And the reason we need this is because when you're connecting between the two computers, it tends to have some audio noise coming through and this ground loop isolator will take all of that out so you don't hear that static or noise. So let's look at your actual GoXLR and see where we're gonna be doing these connections first. When you first look at your actual GoXLR unit, what you'll see on the front are those two ports, the headphones and the mic. These are not the actual ports that we're wanting to utilize because of course, the one you're already using for your headset, the second is only being used if you have something like a Blue Yeti or a three and a half millimeter um, aux cable type of connection for a microphone. If you're already using something like this pod mic and you're using an XLR, leave that empty. What we wanna do though is go ahead and flip the device around and look on the back side. Now, when you're looking here on the back of the actual Go XLR Mini, you will notice a line in and a line out. That is the two ports that we're using these two aux cables for. Now, the first cable that you're gonna wanna run is this is coming from the line out of the Go XLR Mini, and this will plug into your aux in, your line in, or your microphone input, depending on what you're using on your streaming computer. It needs to run directly from a line out of the Go XLR Mini, into an in port on your second PC, okay? This is going to be using all the sounds that's coming from the main computer. It's how it's going to send it over to your streaming PC. And on that streaming PC, you're only gonna have to utilize that one input for sound because all of the mixing is going to be done either directly on the Go XLR or inside of your actual main computer. You will only have to control the overall volume on the actual streaming PC. The second one is what's going to be sending the alerts back, okay? So the other, the other cable that you have, you're gonna plug into the line out of your streaming PC, and we're going to be plugging this one into the line in on the Go XLR. Now, that is the actual port that I use the ground loop isolator on, is the line input for the Go XLR. I found that one tends to work the best. I do believe you could probably try it on both sides and it should work. But again, I use my loop isolator on the actual line in on the back of the Go XLR. So real quick, let's review it to make sure we're clear. Line out from the Go XLR goes into a line in on your streaming PC or the secondary computer. This is how most of the sounds will be coming from your main setup and going into the secondary computer so you can record it, you can stream it, whatever you wanna do there. Now to hear alerts or any other audio from that secondary computer, either on your headphones or onto the main PC is where you will have to do a line out from that streaming PC and come into the line in on the back of the Go XLR. And again, it's at this plug is where I will actually use that ground loop isolator. Once we've done these two connections, that's all the wiring that you have to run to make this work. Next, we're gonna hop into the actual Go XLR app and I will show you how to adjust your routing so that way everything's crystal clear. Let's look at it. All right, I want you to go ahead and open your XLR app and what you will see here is you have your normal tabs that if you have any questions about the full detail about this app, you can go watch my complete overview of the Go XLR Mini. I will link it in the cards above or actually down in the description below. But specifically looking at these two cables and how they're affecting, there's realistically two things that we want to make sure we do. So number one, which is where we are having the audio go out from the main computer, sending it to the secondary computer, we're going to want to click on the routing tab. And under the routing tab, you're gonna be focusing on the one line that's labeled as line out. So this row listed here is what sounds will be included in the line out that's going to that secondary PC. 
So when you're using a two PC setup, this is the line that you want to basically assume is your broadcast stream mix. So we will be assuming that anything listed here on this line is what will be included onto your live stream or whatever you're recording on that secondary computer. So as you see here, I have my mic, I have my chat for if I have discord, any music that I want to do and any system listed here. Now, it is important that we do not have the line in turned on because what that would do is it would duplicate the alert sounds and we don't want that to happen because the alert sounds are already included on your Streamlabs or your OBS setting. What we want is the line in to only be listed in your headphones. Now you can see here, mine is also checked in the broadcast stream mix. That doesn't really affect me because again, when I'm using a two PC setup, nothing is really going from this line. What I have to make sure though is line in has to be selected for headphones because that is how the output from the secondary PC will be heard inside of your headphones for those alert sounds. Now, the last thing you can adjust is over in the actual mixer tab. If you notice and you scroll over from right to left in the mixer tab, you will have that line in adjustment. And this is where you can adjust the volume of the sounds coming from that second PC to your main PC as the input, right? And what you can do here is you can adjust the volume or as always, you can come over to your headphone level and adjust that as well. If you want to mess with your total headphone volume, you can do, you can do so here. Thank you so much everybody for sticking around to the end of the video. I really do hope this helps and clears up some of that confusion. If you have any other questions though, please leave them down in the comment section below. I will do my very best to get to them as quickly as possible. And if you haven't already, smash that subscribe button. It definitely helps me out and we'll be seeing more videos like this here on the channel. See you next time.